The Huawei Ascend Mate has a 6 inch plus screen and a quad core processor, but how well can it fit in your pocket? Find out in our review. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wilk and I just lied to you. Only you can tell if the Ascend Mate can fit in your pocket, but I can tell you pretty much everything else. Let's kick off the review with a look at the specs. The Huawei Ascend Mate has a 6.1 inch 720p IPS plus display. It's powered by a Huawei K3 V2 chipset and has a 1.5 GHz quad core CPU, Vivante GC4000 GPU, 2 gigs of RAM and 8 gigs of internal storage expandable via micro SD. Looking at the cameras, we have an 8 megapixel rear facing camera with 1080p video capture and a 1 megapixel front facing camera with 720p video capture. Providing the juice is a hefty 4050 milliamp hour battery. While it's not the most visually impressive device we've ever seen, I like the simplistic utilitarian look of the Ascend Mate. Both the back and sides of the device are very grippy, which is handy with a phone this big. The Ascend Mate uses software keys, so the only buttons, which are the power button and volume rocker, are both located on the right side of the device. The micro SD slot is located on the left, the headphone jack is on top, and the USB port is on the bottom. In general, the phone feels pretty solid and the haptic feedback feels great. The display is only 720p, which is a little disappointing. Stretching 1280 by 720 resolution over a 6.1 inch screen gives us a pixel density of around 240 pixels per inch, which is just okay. Pixelation is noticeable if you look close, but with a device this size, you probably won't be doing that too often. The IPS Plus display is fairly nice otherwise. Colors are well balanced and vivid without going to the point of oversaturation. Black levels are good and so is the brightness. Since Huawei produces its own CPUs, we weren't really sure what to expect when it came to benchmarks, but we started with our favorite, Antutu benchmark. We ran the benchmark 10 times and got scores ranging from just over 15,000 to just under 15,900. The final average score was 15,639. Next, we turn to Epic Citadel. Even though the app recently updated to add an ultra high quality mode, we weren't able to use it, probably due to the CPU's somewhat older Cortex A9 architecture. So we tried high quality mode, which gave us an average frame rate of 37.7 frames per second. High performance mode slightly boosted the frame rate to an average of 40.2 frames per second. Real world use proved to be very smooth whether scrolling through the home screens and menus or launching apps. We tried a few games and while simpler games like the jump ran smoothly enough, the more hardware intensive Real Racing 3 did give it a little trouble. The Ascend Mate runs Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean and is skinned with Huawei's Emotion UI which might take a little getting used to. First, there's no app drawer. Everything just goes on your home screens. I found this very weird at first, but got used to it after a while. The UI is super themable with 20 different official themes built in right out of the box. And if that's not enough, you can mix and match elements of different themes to create your own. Not a whole lot of bloatware is present. Just a few social networking apps like Facebook and Twitter and Kingsoft Office which actually lets you create documents. Handy. The 8 megapixel camera has some nice but standard features like panorama, HDR, and burst shot modes, but the pictures it takes aren't all that special. Colors can be either too dark or a little washed out and low performance isn't very good, but overall they're fairly decent. The 1080p video capture is fairly nice with a smooth 30 frames per second and fairly crisp picture. The Ascend Mate has two microphones built in, so your videos have stereo sound, which isn't something we see all that often. The Ascend Mate packs in a whopping 4050 milliamp hour battery, so as you might expect, battery life is great with this thing. The first day that it arrived, I took it out of the box and instead of charging it up, went right into testing and benchmarking with the battery at around 80%. At the end of hours of testing everything from gaming to the camera, battery life was only down to around 20%. Using the charger that ships with the Ascend Mate enables fast charging, which is great since even with the huge battery, it charged from around 20 to 100% in just a little over an hour. 
Huawei claims that you can get a weekend of normal use out of the battery, and that might be a bit much, but you would be hard pressed to not get a full day out of it. There's a lot to like about the Ascend Mate, and really only a few things to dislike, most of which are just a matter of preference anyway. The Mate probably won't turn Huawei into an instant success in the West, but it is a good choice for fans of big phones. If you want to know more, we have an in-depth written review at AndroidAuthority.com. You can find a link to the article down in the description. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, maybe give it a like or share it with your friends or enemies. That's your call, really. But if you want to stay caught up with everything we do, make sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm Chris Wook for Android Authority, and as always, thanks for watching.